I've been doing something new this time. I'm consulting a friend of mine, Mike Stadler from Osteopathie Central. Mike is a healthcare professional and helped me recover after a ski accident. And then he asked me to help him with his stock selections. And the first question he had was, how can I save for my retirement? And most people would say, well, you have to go to the professional and have to ask them how to save. But actually, it is quite easy. There are not many different ways to saving for your retirement if you don't take into account the bank accounts. It's first real estate. You can buy a house where you live in or an apartment. That's a possibility to avoid rent and make a return this way. The second is you can give your money to the state or to an organization and get an interest for giving the money to them. That's called bonds. And the third thing is stocks. Stocks actually make you owner of a public, publicly quoted company, of a company that is actually at the stock market. These are the three possibilities. Now, real estate has been, has been really popular, but you may already own real estate. So that's not an option for additional investments because it would be too risky. So you can only choose between options and bonds. No, between stocks and bonds. And when you look at these two uh, investment alternatives, bonds are actually always lower in their returns than stocks. And why is that so? Because as a stock owner, you own part, part of a company. Now, stocks fluctuate a lot over time and that may, may actually scare you. And there is actually something really important about investing in stocks for your, your retirement. The first and most important thing is don't panic. And a way of not panicking is not looking at the prices that the stocks move. Because that makes you a much more longer term investor and that's a, a lot better for your returns. And the second is, even if you are like Mike Stadler who runs his own company, Osteopathy Central, if you, even if you are an owner of a company, you may still want to invest in other companies because then you're better diversified. And then that actually brings me to the third and most important point, which is diversification. If you save for retirement, this is not about making a lot of money. This is about making a safe investment, one that actually will give you a possibility to retire when you want. So these are the first things I told Mike. And if you know Swiss German, you can actually look yourself. Good luck with your own investing.